Hi guys, I'm BBXH with Stream Elements bringing you another tutorial video. Today's video is on our new and improved overlay editor. Let's jump over to that website. Okay, so we are on our Stream Elements dashboard under the My Overlays tab. First and foremost, what's new is you have a three dot drop down menu where you can copy a URL, rename, duplicate, and delete. When you click rename, this is where you can set what game it's for, which will automatically post the picture. Like you can see my Sea of Thieves one right there. It'll automatically put the game picture on there. You can name the overlay, whatever you would like to, and set the resolution. You can either click edit or create a blank new overlay. And when you do, this is what comes up. This is what it looks like. No more green. It's gray now. <laughs> All right, so a few things I want to go over today, how to add widgets, the URL to take your overlay from the website to your OBS, how to undo Zoom and everything else that's on the bottom bar menu and the widget settings menus that's collapsible now. So first off, let's talk about widgets. So you, I obviously can see that you can click add widget on the left there. You also have the plus sign on the bottom so you can add a widget either which way. I'm going to use the bottom plus sign, go to alerts. I'm going to add an alert box in here. So I've got my alert box and now let's look at this bottom bar menu. So you will see that you have an emulate button. You have an undo, a redo, zoom in, zoom out, reset zoom. You have this one as well to fit to the screen. You can turn snapping on and off and you can mute the audio for the overlay in your editor. So under the emulate, you'll see it pop up like normal. So let's say, let's do a sample of a subscriber and you can see exactly what will pop up. So that way, once you are ready to send to your overlay, you can test this first and make sure it's exactly how you want it to be. Looking off on the top right next, we have a few new icons. So the one that looks like the little monitor there, that is your session data. This is the what you can use to edit or remove data that is used for your widget. So let's say, for example, you're going to do a subathon and you use a sub goal widget, but it's already your data is already set to let's say you have 10 subs and you're like, hmm, I want it to start fresh. This is where you go. You can set the sub goal to zero to start brand new for that day, that week, whatever you need. Next up, you have that little chain link icon. This is where you can click to get your URL. And as you'll see here, I'll be in the way, but it'll confirm to you ah, that it copies it. So that way you'll have the link to this overlay copied so you can add it as a browser source in your OBS. Another way to do it is to click preview here. It's gonna ask me to save, which I will name as my over overlay friend. Yay. Once you do that, you see you have the link as well. So this is another way for you to get the overlay link to transfer it over to OBS. You can also open the overlay in a new tab to see exactly what it looks like as well. And of course, you all know what a save button does, but it is there up on your top right. Okay, let's go to the left side menu here. So as you can see, we have the settings. This is collapsible and expandable. Keeps it extremely clean when you're trying to edit, uh, which I appreciate very, very much. And you can also, you have your layers drop down menu. On this, you now have a grouping icon. So let's add in something like the hype cup here. So let's say I've added in my hype cup. And here's an example. Look, mm, boom, you can collapse it. So clean, so much more organized. I love it. So under your layers, you can group these two widgets together if you would like to, adding them in. Let's say, as you can see, we have a little Santa here. So maybe you have a seasonal group and you can just double click the new widget group to rename it, whatever you would like to. Then your other buttons at the top there, the little X does the ungrouping. You have those double squares. That is what you use to duplicate something. So let's say, for example, you have your alerts, right? On your alert box, you have it all set up with whatever little jingles you have or pictures that pop up when a certain alert is happening and you want to use it on another overlay, instead of going through it all again, just click the duplicate button and it'll copy it and you can copy it over to this overlay or to other overlays. It is a time saver. And then of course the little trash can will del delete any widget that you don't want. All right, let's see what else we have. Okay, we have our position size and style setting. Those have been there for a long time. It's just same thing, a little bit cleaner. You can collapse and expand that. You can collapse and expand that menu as you need it. And last but not least, you can now change the name of your overlay at the top left. So we can call it Overlay Friend Part 2 or whatever you would like to name your overlay just at the top there before you exit out. 
And that's pretty much what's new for our overlay editor for you guys. I hope you enjoyed and this was helpful. Thanks so much for tuning in.